But let's get into it from your side. Where do you find the mistakes that people are making that they're losing points and profits? Where, let's kind of start there, fiddle with it. Perfect. This is my everyday. This is my favorite conversation. So you nailed the one big thing. There isn't that one lever or button you get to push, right? It is more like playing Jenga. Yeah. Where move this one point? Where is this brick going to go? We tell someone to cut labor and they just go remove a body and now their service is going to be lacking. Their check average is going to be going. So what we do is we focus on prime cost first and foremost, prime cost being all of your cost of goods, food, beer, wine, liquor, any beverage, plus your total burdened labor, salary, hourly benefits, all that fun stuff. And we focus on how to make the right metric for that concept. And just speaking largely, if you are in a major metropolitan area, we're looking at probably a 65% prime cost as an initial target. Mm -hmm. So said otherwise, for every dollar that a guest spends, we're spending 65 cents on our food, beer, wine, liquor, and a beverage, front of house, back house, and benefits. As we start to look at different concepts, we start to identify, hey, this is fast casual. We're more in a suburban market. Hey, this we're doing a ton of volume. We can really get labor lower. The reason for that is we don't want all numbers to just be as low as possible because that's mm -hmm. hard to benchmark. If you can save on labor, you can increase your experience maybe on your food costs or offer better value. It's about that right mix. Once we get food costs, once we get prime costs dialed in, and there's a lot of work in that, by the way, we have some pretty specific suggestions and reporting. We also know that restaurant people, if they were admin centric, may not be restaurant people, right? So we are working with the personalities. So just as an example, in all of our operational consulting and even the restaurants we operate, Tuesday is sales forecasting and schedule day. So we're looking at this week, next week, and the week after. We're running some quick reports to say, hey, here's our strongest servers. Why does the guy with the lowest check average happen to work five days, which happen to be the most busy days? What are we mm -hmm. doing here? So we're really right. getting granular with that. Then on Wednesdays, we're looking at product mix, what our item costs are and what's moving, what's not moving, as well as some purchase tracking tools we put together. Our team is trained how to use them, not put them together. I think that's important. We do this so that each meeting can be 15 to 30 minutes at max and really capture everyone's attention, put the decision makers in the room. Then on Friday, we were, we go over our manager meeting where they're catching up. Hey, we said we would do this for labor. Did we get it done? Where are we week to date? What's the weekend looking like? Hey, we said we'd change this on the menus. Did we change these things on the menus? What's up with purchasing? Did the vendor get back to us? So prime cost is our main focus and everything I just mentioned is accountability and follow-up, which is where I think most restaurants fail. So that's our first step. 